show, guys. It's great to be here, Dick. Hi, Mommy. I understand you two are sponsoring a big golf tournament this weekend. That's right. It's called the Very Vanilla Velveeta VA Classic. In Vegas and Vermont. That va boom <laughs> You know how to play the game. You have 30 seconds to guess all six answers. Tom, Mark, pick a category. Alrighty. I think we're going to go with turn on. Turn on it is. This category is famous celebrities associated with the 60s. Ready? Go. Okay, a famous black man persecuted for his beliefs. Ben Vereen. Okay, he was an inspirational speaker. Uh, Nancy Russell. Uh, his name had a letter in it. Um, um, JJ. Uh, Bibi and Cece. LL. Um, uh, the Bee Gees. Pass. Next one, please. Okay, you'll love this. Um, 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 he, he was a godfather of soul. Wayne Newton. Uh, <laughs> the hardest working man in show business. Um, Pat Boone. Darker. Uh, Byron Allen. <laughs> Machine. Next. Okay. Very famous 60s figure uh, associated with the Panthers. Um, Marlon Perkins? No, when you cut something, you use a... Air freshener. No, no. Uh, no. Uh, meat. Uh, cleaver. Cleaver. More specific. Uh, Wally Cleaver. Uh, next. Okay. Woman from the 60s. Very famous big hairdo. Her initials are A.D. Um... And B. Davis, the maid on the pretty much? No! This woman was a militant protester. Gosh, I know that. I saw the episode where she poured the noodles on... But... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Trudy. Wrong answer. The answer was Ronald Reagan. Why do I get stuck with the dummies? Hey! Once again, the score is nothing, nothing. You know, I just can't take this anymore. I'm getting pissed myself. I'm telling you, Dick, this bold dinky is just getting under my skin. Did you, uh, Tom, Tom, it's okay. I'm sorry, my nostril hair is flaring at this <gasps> very moment. That's a booger. <laughs> Come on now, guys. Are you saying that if you two were working together, the two brothers, you'd do better than this? You're darn tootin'. Well, then, come on, take the challenge. Come into the winner's circle and go for $100,000. Oh, you have only 60 seconds to answer all the questions on the board. Let's see if you can do it. Okay. Go. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, violence, unemployed people, juvenile delinquents. Things you find at a rap concert. <laughs> the John Denver Live album. Cheese Whiz on a Ritz. A white girl. Things you find on your Cinema Hall show. <laughs> Arizona, Alabama, South Africa. A uh, place to go on vacation. <laughs> Welfare, stale Wonder Bread. We're all out of mayonnaise. Um, um, things to make you mad. Yes. This presents Men on Football. I'm Blaine Edwards. And I'm Antoine Merriweather. And, and welcome, welcome to Men on Football. football. The show that looks at football from a male point of view. That's right. Tonight we're live and uncensored. That's right. Naked to the world. <laughs> Do you know we have a new sponsor? Wilson Sporting Goods. The official boss of the NFL. I ain't said a word. You know, a lot of people were very surprised to hear that we was doing a special football show. But we've been fans of football for many years. I mean, what other game boasts such great names like Dick Butkus? <laughs> or my favorite, Bob Greasy. <laughs> now, isn't he a tight end? He was. <laughs> he looked just like your mom. <laughs> uh -huh, be quiet now. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Mama's got to get her some good shut eye. And when she find your daddy, you know what I'm going to do. It's going to be good love and body rock and <laughs> right. For real? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, you must have a gas bubble or something. Ooh, it smells like that hog head cheese I had earlier this morning. Okay, I'm going to lay you down now, because Mama got to write in her diary and stuff, okay? Hey! Just what gives 
hair Bloody Mary? My name is Mindy and I'm busy. Serving drinks to these yahoos during halftime can be lucrative. But it can also put you out for the season. Or some practical jokers, which is your cocktail tray with this here regulation dartboard. Everyone's a little tipsy. You go to collect on the tab. Hey, guys! How about throwing me a few tips? Well, what do you know? Someone got a bullseye. Man, this must be the Flizzits. All new in 92. Now, dig. Now, wake up the dead, because Funky Finger Productions about that. Oh, but negative, but wild, man. Coming at you all the way live from a big time Hollywood funeral. <clears throat> Are you gentlemen here to view the body? Brother, don't he look like a well dressed walrus? <laughs> <laughs> Here, brother, if you're referring to hot chocolate over here, you don't have to ask us twice. No! I believe in miracles. You sex thing. Excuse me, sister, is this seat taken? I'm saving the seat for Latoya Girl, Jackson. You better not grip up on my butt. Well, I will flavor hey, flavor hey. you. <laughs> See, you think these are LPs, but these are CDs. He's yeah. up on straight. <laughs> now, look here. Is Latoya in town, man? Because she ain't called me. Dig that. Now, look. While we got your ear, Hershey Kiss, we'd like to tell you about a little project we got for the snake woman. Look here. It's a story about a young lady growing up with a bunch of musical Negroes in Motown. Dig it. Daddy gave her a real hard time. A lot of ass whippings in the back of the Trans Am. <laughs> it's a little thing we like to call left hook. You dig left hook. I don't think Latoya would hardly be interested in that. Oh, well, look here, Sir Diddy. Kitty, I bet she don't need no tea, though. Now dig that fake Lola Falana look. Hello. I'm Blaine Edwards. And I'm Antoine Merriweather. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Men on Films. Films. <laughs> Tonight, we have a brand new sponsor, Ballpark Franks. <laughs> they plump when you heat them. That they do. <laughs> they almost can't fit into the bun. This week, we're going to answer some of our critics who say we can criticize films, but we don't know how to actually make cinema. The truth is, we've been making a lot of films over the years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but tonight, we're going to focus on our feature films. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this. The first Men on Film Festival. This show is all about us. It's my turn. <laughs> we begin with a Western picture called The Magnificent Nine. Now, this wonderful flick starred Blaine in the title role. And I have to say, Blaine, you just exploded onto screen. Kudos. <laughs> Let's take a look at an exciting scene from The Magnificent Nine. <laughs> Bartender, I want something stiff to drink. Jack Daniels? He look anything like you? enough for both of us, Ringo. I'm riding you all the way back to Frisco. Go ahead and make my day. Come to mama, girl. Oh, I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Hi, I'm Dr. Jack Kevorkian. A lot of you know me simply as Dr. Death. <laughs> 
As you know, I recently agreed to stop assisting patient suicides. But now my years of experience can be yours in my new book, Dr. Kevorkian's Book of Home Remedies. You know, doctors have long known how to cure common ailments with simple items found around the house. Foot pain got you down, son? Then just soak that foot in a bathtub full of hot salt water with a cup of vinegar and a tablespoon of castor oil. Then just add a string of Christmas lights. Well, now that the FDA has banned silicone breast implants, I better call the doctor and have them removed. Wait. Stop what you're doing. Why? These are no good for me. <laughs> That's what you think. But did you know you could be throwing away hours of fun? But I can't keep these. Silicone isn't safe. No, not silicone. Silicone. <laughs> yes, like Silly Putty, silicone is the breast you can play with. <laughs> Take it on the job to relieve stress. <laughs> Copy your favorite comic strip. They're great fun at birthday parties. You can even make them do tricks. Silicone comes in three sizes, bouncy, meaty, and grandma.